What's going on everyone and welcome to episode 20 of Game Dev. In this episode we're actually going to be rendering in this level, getting everything set up. If we run the game, you'll actually see what we have from last episode, which is just this kind of mess. Uh, we have one tile being rendered at the seconds position here, so we converted things into an orthographic matrix, so that it's easier for us to load levels into 2D space instead of having to work with 3D space and the math that'll come with that. So let's get right into this. First and foremost, I'm going to change this down to a 1.0 scale just so we can see what we're doing, because if we're zoomed in a little bit, you'll, you won't be able to see the full actual level. Uh, so the level is only 256 by 256, so it should end around here-ish or something like that. Um, my vision judging is correct, because it's 16 tiles by 16 tiles this way. So that should be that. Uh, but It's just so we can see everything. We'll add in some panning stuff later on when we do movement. But let's actually get some variables in here, because we need some more data here. So we're going to say int tile width. In tile height, uh, we will get a string sprite path and sprites sprite sheet. Okay, then we're gonna go down into our load level function here, and we're actually going to set up those data variables. Uh, so level data can stay the way it is. Let's just go above it. So we will say tile width is equal to data tile sets at zero. Tile width. Uh, so I'll just open this up for reference here. See, go into tile sets, it's zero index, the first index, and tile width. We'll need the or tile width here. We'll need the tile height, and we'll also need the image width and height and image itself. Say tile height, the second one. In case we need it, I don't think we'll need the tile height. Uh, that's okay. We'll say sprite path is equal to data tile sets at zero at image. Uh, we do need a tiles per row, and I was actually just going to strip it out here with the image width and then multiply the tile width. But we can actually just pull it out from this layer, this layer width right here. So let's actually just do that. Let's we'll say tiles per row. And it was data layers zero and then width. Correct? Yeah. That's an easy one right there. Uh, let's create the texture here. So texture text. And the reason why we can do this is because if we go into our texture, uh, it'll try to load everything. And if it's not loaded, it will force load it. And I did add the sprites that we used in our um, in that setup video. I moved them into the texture folder here, so just be sure of that and be aware that you should probably do that. You will need them. So texture text, you will new texture, and we will load it at text, and then sprite, sprite path. I don't know if I ever explained this, I've used it a few times, uh, but encapsulating it with these curly braces and then a dollar sign in front of it, that'll actually allow you to input variables directly into a string. So I don't know if I ex actually explained that or if I've just been doing it, but uh, that's what that does in case you did not know. So let's create the sprite sheet now. New sprites. And we'll just use test shader. We can apply different shaders to this, but I'm just going to use test shader for now. Just because it works. There's the sprite sheet. Uh, let's actually go and create them in here now. So we won't need this line data, but I'll keep it for now just because. Uh, but I do want to pull out that coordinate. Let's pull that out here. Put it back in here. Okay. And then we will get the double, the U value for it. That's going to be equal to... Uh, now since our coordinate system, if we go and look at the sprite map, we have a bunch of zeros and the zero index is defining nothing. But in our sprite sheet, the zero index is actually part of the array and it's defining the first element. So we're actually going to need to do some manipulation on these coordinates here to account for that. So what we're going to do is we're going to say if the coordinate is greater than 0, 0.0, then we'll do coordinate uh, minus 1.0, else we'll do coordinate. And we are going to percent that by tiles per row. Just cast it to a double if it's not already. And we will create the V value. And this one is just going to be chord divided by tiles per row. Double. Uh, this operator right here with the um, tilde here, all that does is it allows you to divide it and then cast. It'll kind of do like a floor function to it and it'll cast it down into an int. Just so you know, uh, it's very handy and it's a lot more efficient than doing like two int or whatever, whatever you would do instead. Uh, so the line, I'm actually just going to change this up. 
we're just gonna go line plus equals uh, and we'll just add u v coordinate and then the coordinate just so we can see all that data here and we'll say if the coordinate is equal equal to zero then we're just going to continue because we don't actually need to do it if it's zero if the coordinate is the coordinate zero it means it's not supposed to be rendered so we're just going to continue there and we'll go sprite sheet add sprite new sprite x uh, let's put it in here. x times tile width to double y times tile height to double Next up, we're going to do tile width to double, tile height to double. Then we will go U and V and 1.0. Just going to copy this four times because we don't actually need those and we will not be doing any flip values on these. Okay, so that should be that. Uh, let's create the render function now. This one should be super simple. Void render matrix four. MV matrix. I don't actually think we're using this MV matrix, but I'm pretty sure it's in the render function here. Render, yeah, it is. So we'll, we'll strip that out later on. Or we'll add it in, I don't know. Okay, that should be that. Uh, if we go into the main class now, let's actually create our level here. So level, level. Uh, it doesn't really matter if we put the texture above, if we put the level above the uh, texture here, because it will wait for it to be loaded. So we're going to do it anyways. We will initialize level here just to be safe though. And the level is at level slash sprite map dot JSON. Okay, we're going to get this out. And instead of test, we'll do level dot render. Okay, so if we run this, I believe that should be everything. Yeah, and you'll see that we have our level in here. Uh, it's just what we did. We did the top values here. This was the ordinance bottom and then we had this little one and then the bottom. That's about 16 by 16. It looks about right. Everything looks to be in order. That's it for this episode, actually rendering level. I'm actually going to change the scale up so next episode we can actually walk around on here. And that might actually be a little too much. I might just want to do 1.5. Um, but that's okay. So I'm, I'm pleased with this. And you'll see if we go down here, all of these are not actually being inserted. We're only actually inserting these ones. You'll see the coordinate is 1, even though it's 2, because that is the first index. So we're good. Everything's working as it should be, so I will see you guys next episode. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, check out the Patreon if you want full access to the source code of this episode and see what's changed and all that, or if you want to get in contact with me over Skype, be able to poke me with questions and queries and all that stuff. All that information is down below. You don't have to support. It's just a nice way to help me out. Um, so I'll see you guys next episode. Thank you guys for watching, and have a good day.